Hello all. So in today's class, <coughs> we will look at uh, the inverse hyperbolic functions and how they are defined. Now hyperbolic functions are defined in terms of exponential functions. So they are defined in terms of e raised to x and e raised to minus x. Uh, now when you take the inverse hyperbolic function, inverse hyperbolic function can be uh, expressed in terms of logarithms. So uh, we will see the <coughs> definitions of or we will see how the inverse hyperbolic functions are defined. So you have sin h inverse of x, sin h inverse of x is given by ln of x plus root of x square plus 1 and cos h inverse of x is ln of again x plus root of x square minus 1 and tan h inverse of x is given by 1 by 2 log 1 plus x by 1 minus x then cot h inverse of x that is given by 1 by 2 uh, log x plus 1 by x minus 1 and seek h inverse of x is defined as ln of 1 plus root of 1 minus x square by x and cosec h inverse of x is ln of 1 by x plus root of 1 plus x square by mod x. So this is how uh, we have defined, uh, this is how we define the inverse hyperbolic function. So let us uh, look at uh, how uh, we have obtained this. <coughs> so let us look for uh, one of the formulas. So how did we uh, reach to this formula? So let us see how did we get sin h inverse of x as ln of x plus root of uh, x square <coughs> plus 1. So, uh, let y equal to sin h inverse of x. So, then uh, by the definition of inverse function, so that implies, so x will be equal to sin hy. Ne, uh, sin hy in varena, that will be e raised to y minus e raised to minus y by 2. So, that is e raised to y minus 1 by e raised to y by 2. So, uh, x can be written as e raised to 2y minus 1 by 2 e raised to y. So, therefore, 2 e raised to y x will be equal to e raised to 2y minus 1. So, we will get uh, e raised to 2y minus 2 e raised to y x. Uh, minus 1 equal to 0. So, this is quadratic in uh, e raised to y. So, this is quadratic in e raised to y. So, therefore, uh, when you solve for e raised to y, so e raised to y will be, so using the uh, formula for the solution of the quadratic equation, so minus b equal to 2x theorem. Uh, plus or minus root of b square so that is 4x square minus uh, <coughs> 4 into a into c of the plus 4 by uh, 2 a is 1 okay so uh, that will be equal to x plus or minus root of x square plus 1 now uh, e raised to y is equal to x plus or minus root of x square plus 1. So, we know that uh, e raised to y is always greater than 0. Now, root of x square plus 1 will be greater than x. So, if we have a negative sign, one will we'll end that are negative out. So, uh, since uh, e raised to y is greater than 0, so e raised to y will be equal to x plus root of x square plus 1. So, taking logarithm on both sides. So, we will get y equal to ln of x plus root of x square plus 1. So, this is how and y uh, was sine 
h inverse of x. So therefore, sine h inverse of x is log x plus root of x square plus 1. So this is how we have obtained the <coughs> inverse log or inverse hyperbolic function. So similarly, you can do for uh, the other functions. Now, uh, let us, now once you have, <coughs> uh, we have the definitions for this. Uh, now, once you have this, you can now take the derivative of uh, these functions. Derivative at the combo and then written an offer. So let us look at the derivatives of uh, inverse hyperbolic functions. So let us look at what is the derivative of uh, sine h inverse of x. So that will be d by dx of ln of x plus root of x squared plus 1, so that will be 1 by uh, x plus root of x squared plus 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2, root of x squared plus 1 into 2 x theorem. Okay, so 2 will cancel off here. Uh, so you are going to get uh, 1 by root of 1 plus x square when you simplify. So therefore, uh, derivative of sin h inverse of x is 1 by root of 1 plus x square. Uh, so therefore, uh, if you take the integral of 1 by root of 1 plus x square dx, that will be uh, sin h inverse of x plus c. Now, uh, similarly, you can find the uh, other derivatives. So let us write all the derivatives. So d by dx of sin h inverse of x is 1 by root of 1 plus x square then d by dx of cos h inverse of x that will be equal to 1 by root of x square minus 1 then d by dx of tan h inverse of x that will be 1 by 1 minus x square then d by dx of cot h inverse of x is 1 by, so this is defined when x is greater than 1 and here you have mod x less than 1 is the domain. Then for cot you have 1 minus x square so this is defined when mod x is greater than 1 and d by dx of seek h inverse of x that is 1 by minus 1 by x into root of 1 minus x square then d by dx of cosec h inverse of x that will be minus 1 by mod u the root of 1 plus u square so here you must be not equal to 0. Sorry, this is x. So here, let's define when x is not equal to 0. And here, you must have 0 less than u less than 1. x less than 1. So, uh, those are the derivatives of the inverse hyperbolic function. Now, um, using now uh, this, you can write the these respective integrals. So, we can write the function the integral of the function hyperbolic inverse hyperbolic function. So, Integral of du by root of a square plus x square will be equal to sin h inverse of x by a plus c. So you just remember these formulas. Okay. Just integrals evaluate a and a matra and you say the 
formulas in the other So, uh, integral, sorry, this is dx. by x square minus a square that will be equal to cos h inverse of x by a plus c and the integral of du by a square minus x square that will be equal to 1 by a tan h inverse of u by e, x by a so, plus c and 1 by a cot h inverse of x by a plus c. So this is when modulus of u is great, less than a, the modulus of x is greater than a, less than a and modulus of x is greater than a. And the integral dx by x into root of a square minus x square that is equal to minus 1 by a c h inverse of mod x by a plus c and integral dx by x into root of a square plus x square that will be equal to minus 1 by a cosec h inverse of mod x by a plus c. So these are the uh, formulas for integrals where uh, uh, the integral value is given as a hyperbolic uh, as an inverse hyperbolic function.